Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Monday morning. Hope we're having a wonderful and safe start to our week. And uh, let me tell you, things are going to get hectic today very quickly. We already have a tornado watch issued uh, for sections of uh, West Virginia, Ohio, and Kentucky, and likely more tornado watches and severe thunderstorm watches will be issued before the day is over. So uh, this is going to be likely quite a historic day for some folks who are going to see storms that they don't see very often. And all of this is due to this big piece of energy you're seeing on satellite this morning. Uh, and again, this is just churning away that combined with very warm southerly winds coming out of the Gulf and off of the Atlantic feeding into this combined with very strong winds coming out of the West crossing this is going to lead to very strong storms this afternoon, including uh, the threat of tornadoes. Uh, so again, a lot going on. And I want you to have the latest information here. So I'm going to show you the latest models we've got. I'm going to tell you my latest thinking uh, and what you need to do to prepare for this threat. So right now, again, we've already got a tornado watch out here in this yellow box. So uh, if you're anywhere from uh, Knoxville over towards western North Carolina, West Virginia, southern Ohio, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, a lot of places under the gun right now. And again, this will likely shift further to the east as well as the north and the south uh, by the time we get through today. So don't let your guard down uh, right now if you're not currently under these watches or warnings. Now, again, just to tell you kind of how strong the ingredients we're dealing with right now are. Uh, we've got heat advisories from Charlotte down towards Raleigh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, Columbia, uh, even up towards Norfolk, Virginia. These places have such, um, you know, high levels of humidity, uh, high dew points, and heat today that heat advisories are needed. That combined with storm uh, energy in the atmosphere moving over that, we're going to have some very strong storms today. Uh, and again, I really cannot overstate that threat at all today. So again, right now, uh, we're already seeing some of these storms fire off in this tornado watch. Uh, any of these could begin to rotate, could begin uh, to produce strong winds as well as isolated tornadoes today. So uh, right now, things are about as calm as they're going to be today because by the time we uh, continue through this afternoon and evening, this will continue uh, to get stronger and continue to impact more people. So again, we've got a moderate risk today. This is the second highest that these risks can go. So if you're in Washington, D.C., uh, down through the spine of the Appalachians, all the way down towards Blacksburg, Virginia, up towards Knoxville, Tennessee, especially up towards the Tri-Cities, uh, Boone, North Carolina, Charleston, West Virginia, just to name a couple places, uh, you're under a moderate, uh, moderate risk. So again, I, I'm really trying to just hammer this point home. This is quite a historic day. Uh, we don't see this very often this time of year or just really at any time of the year in this part of the country. So a very big deal uh, with this today. Now, the biggest threat today will be wind. In fact, we've got a 45% chance of seeing damaging wind gusts within a 25-mile radius. So, uh, again, 25 miles is a pretty common amount that people travel uh, to and from work. So uh, from your house to maybe where you work, uh, there's at least about a 50-50 shot of seeing damaging winds knock trees over, knock power lines over, and cause all other sorts of problems this afternoon. Uh, and we also have a hatched area inside of this, meaning uh, when they say damaging winds, they mean damaging winds. This won't just be those uh, barely 60 mile an hour wind gusts that just meet severe criteria. Uh, these could get well past 80, maybe even 90 mile an hour wind gusts uh, embedded in some of these storms. So at that point, you're getting well up into hurricane um, strength winds. So again, really strong stuff today. Now there is a tornado threat as well today. We have a 10% chance of seeing a tornado within a 25 mile radius at any given spot in this yellow circle. Uh, again, that is for much of Southern West Virginia, Northern Virginia, Maryland, uh, extreme Eastern uh, Kentucky and extreme Northeastern Tennessee as well. But outside of there, uh, we have a tornado risk from uh, you know, up into upstate New York, all the way down to Birmingham, Alabama. So a uh, big area could see tornadoes today, but really want to hammer home that kind of um, brown color and that yellow color on your map. All right, so timing this out a little bit this afternoon and showing you where I think we're going to see these storms at what time. Sorry, I want to take a sip of water there real quick so I can get through this. Um, so again, we're already seeing these storms fire back towards Tennessee and Kentucky. Now, once we get towards the one, two o'clock hour, uh, this will really be right over the heart of Appalachia from Knoxville up through West Virginia into um, the Poconos of Pennsylvania also seeing these strong storms. Now, uh, this is whenever we will have quite a tornado threat this early afternoon as some of these storms stay discreet and have that ability to feed themselves a little bit easier off of this very warm, moist air. Now, eventually that will cross the Appalachian chain. Again, very strong winds as it does that, including embedded tornadoes. 
Uh, and once that happens, we then have to worry about the foothills here in the Mid-Atlantic from South Carolina all the way up towards Pennsylvania. Again, we can see strong storms anywhere in between all of those places. And then as we go closer towards the sun going down, uh, this pushes through the major populated areas of the I-95 corridor, including D.C., uh, Philadelphia, even New York City into the overnight hours, uh, seeing this very strong line of storms. Now, as we go into the southern tier of this threat uh, from Georgia into the Carolinas, we could see a bit of a one-two punch. We could see uh, the first line kind of move through, but then that second uh, bit lag a bit further south and behind that. Uh, and depending on how discreet those cells are, could also produce tornadoes this evening. So uh, while I'm storm chasing today, I'm going to head up towards Hickory, North Carolina, try to kind of intercept this first round uh, of those storms that move on through here. And then likely dive southward after that and try to get another kind of round that comes through uh, the I-85 corridor of upstate South Carolina. And then as we go into the overnight area, uh, overnight hours, sorry, uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, places like Myrtle Beach, Florence, Charleston, South Carolina could then be under the gun for these strong to severe storms to move on through. All right, so quickly showing you the significant tornado parameters. This is pretty much where we have the ingredients for tornadoes. Again, this is a threat today. You'll notice uh, really going towards the 1 o'clock hour into eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, West Virginia. Uh, we've got some pretty big values here on the board, and this tells me uh, the atmosphere is plenty ripe and ample enough to produce these strong storms. And uh, as we go through the afternoon, that threat then pushes east of the mountains into the foothills of Virginia and North Carolina, even South Carolina, and as far north as eastern Pennsylvania and New York could also see um, these ingredients set up shop. Now, the good news is as we go into the overnight hours, it turns more into really just a wind threat and not so much a tornado threat. So uh, places to the east, that's why we have a bit of a lower threat uh, for those tornadoes, although not non-zero. So overnight, definitely make sure uh, you're staying weather aware. And then the good news is as we go into the overnight hours, things really calm down and uh, we look forward to a nicer day in store tomorrow. All right, so quickly running you through the sheltering guidelines on what you should do. I, I know this map is for tornadoes, but this fits really just as well for very strong straight line winds, uh, which we will likely see today. And unfortunately, uh, this is going to be rolling through some places that really don't have the greatest of infrastructure. I know in the backwoods of North Carolina, up into the mountains of there, West Virginia, Virginia, uh, a lot of these buildings are very old. Uh, there's a lot of very big, tall pine trees nearby that are very easily knocked over. So... Again, you really want to pay attention to those sheltering guidelines. Now, what you don't want to do, and I know some of us can't help this, but you, you really don't want to be in a mobile home today. Uh, if you can't avoid that, maybe stay with a friend or family member that has a bit of a more sturdy structure. Um, you know that is always a good idea there. Now, also, if you're stuck in your vehicle, uh, also not where, you're, uh, where you want to be this afternoon. So if you can avoid traveling during the hours that the storms are moving in for you, uh, please try to avoid that. But what you really want is to be in an interior room of a well-constructed home or building or a basement. Now, a lot of us here in the Carolinas do have that, luckily, and not, even up into the Mid-Atlantic, we do have basements or interior rooms. And you also want to stay away from windows. If you can find that interior room that doesn't have uh, windows, that is even better. Now, obviously, if you have a designated storm shelter, um, that is really your best bet, although a lot of us in this part of the country just don't have those, unfortunately. Uh, but again, we will make do with what we have. So uh, also, if for some reason a tornado does cross over where you live or the winds are so strong, a whole ton of trees get knocked down, uh, you really want to stay in place until all clear. Power lines will be down. Uh, you don't want to get near those. Those can cause a lot of problems. So uh, wait for first responders to show up and uh, they will give you the all clear uh, should you be in one of those worst case scenarios. All right, so that's your update I've got for you this morning, or I guess afternoon now. I'm about to head out and get storm chasing. So uh, follow me on Twitter. Really, the goal today for storm chasing is to just get this warning out to people, get ground observation for our forecasters nearby, and uh, let them know what we're seeing on the ground so they can uh, issue these warnings a little bit easier. Uh, with that said, though, again, make sure you're staying safe out there, stay weather aware, and I will see you all tomorrow.